The battery's almost dead in the camera. Okay, well, we managed to open up already. So here's the shell. Um, there's the little plug thing. It's missing the prong because yeah, it's shorted it's out. Yeah, it's shorted out and melted. Melted, yes. Yeah, so. uh, there's the original board inside of it. Kind of like broke it off just because I just need the prongs. And I drew them all the way. The circuitry I'm connecting to the prongs. So that way, when I hook up this, my charger that I made. Uh, it's a USB charger for lithium ion cells. It plugs in through USB, through like uh, your computer, PS3, whatever has a USB port, and it will charge any uh, 3.7 volt lithium ion cell, like the one in this camera. You can also recharge uh, these cells that I like to use in the dual wireless mods. And you can also recharge and you cell phone pretty much. Oh, really? It'll recharge cellular telephone? Yeah. Any lithium ion cells for 3.7 volts. Sweet. So I'm gonna re I'm gonna stick this in here. And have this USB cord coming out of there. So it's like rah, put the battery in here, plug it in computer, and you're good to go. Do it quick. Hurry up. Done. Done? Done. Sweet. That looks good. Well, I finished it. So we go the back side. There's the USB charger hooked up to the pins. All that's disconnected, so it's just. I'm gonna bother with the circuit. Oh. No, do we gotta worry about overcharging the battery? No, because the circuitry and the, uh, the USB charger will prevent it from overcharging. Too much glue. We would show you it's working, but we kind of need the battery in the camera. <laughs> show off the uh, the DS in your stick. So, uh, you were like, don't worry about that, we'll show you that later. Now it's later, so tell them what the DS does and why does it do that and how you had to do that. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, just giving it the desk here. Uh, okay, here's that stick. Again, there is the LED light show before, and there's a DS inside. Now, you want to know what the DS is for? It's because not only does it have light effects, it has sound effects. I heard it. I heard the DS. Oh, that's the speaker right there, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, it's not <coughs> right now it has uh, Vega sound effects. Nothing has a sound of that one. Uh, each one has a different sound effect. Do he who, do he who a couple. Oh, you got doubled up? Oh, oh, 
I like this one. Okay, that's right, enough. That's enough. Now, uh, what did you do to the DS to make that? Oh, all I did was hook up all the button signals on the DS to the rest of the button signals on the, the Chimp and the 360 board. Um, it's hidden. Can't see it. Uh, then I also had to write a program on the DS to. Uh, so when you press a button, it goes, oh, you press the button, I'll play this sound effect. Right, you right. Press a different button, but it's a different sound effect. And that was your job before this, right? Well, you're, I mean, you I were a programmer. programmer before this. Yeah, that's why I knew how to do you it. You went to school for that, didn't you? Yeah. I, I went can... to school so I could make sound effects on my stick. Yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it just uses a, uh, a DS flashcard. And I put the program after I compile it onto a uh, one of those mini SD cards, which was a flash card that goes into DS. Right. Yeah, I made this project in two days. It's a fully functioning Lego stick with swappable button buttons. It's got micro switches and Sonwa button. And I made it work for the PS3, even though it's using the Xbox board. Uh, it's got a JLF, so it's all final parts, just Legos on it. The best card. Well, I made it for some giggles. I actually took it up to uh, Zambat. Uh, up in Maryland. Baltimore? Baltimore, Maryland. And people are like, what the fuck was that shit? I actually won two of my matches in the Rambat because it was a single elimination. That's how I got through. <laughs> uh, after the tournament, I put a little Lego Min for the people I beat. That one right there is Proto Man STI. And that right there is Joe Kim. And. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad you don't actually win a bunch of matches or else you'd have a whole bunch of late. <laughs> All these people are my victims. Does, isn't that supposed to work in the first place? Yeah, yeah well, it's one of those keychain uh, sound effects. Oh, it wasn't um, real? Yeah, it was like, you press it and it made a punch sound effect, press the kick and made a kick sound effect. And then if you did like a Hadouken, you'll do that in the supers. But, I fucked it up. And I like, killed the PCB. And so I figured, well, this looks like it fits. So let me put it in, wired up. And lo and behold, it does fit. And it does work as a PS3 controller. Wired. Wired, of course. There's a mini USB port in the back. But yeah, uh, that's X, that circle. So you have. You can navigate through menus and stuff, and then uh, you can assign them to different buttons in game. And then if you you can click down on the joystick and click all the directions, it'll activate start. So that way you can play two player to get in the game. Uh, okay, that's pretty sweet. But yeah, I believe this is the world's smallest functioning arcade stick. I'd say so, unless anyone can prove otherwise. Somebody prove otherwise, please, and we'll fucking beat that shit. <laughs> the V smile. The most fucked up stick mod I ever did. <laughs> I can't believe that works. <laughs> and, and the LED still light up. Sweet, awesome. Turn the camera off. I'm done. Ah. I said, turn the camera off.